front of my face uh, and then the whole world is waiting for me to say something. So, something which I didn't want to do was to miss out on any name, important name that I wanted to mention and all I had done was uh, written all the names I need to mention and uh, otherwise the rest of the things came from my heart otherwise my speech wouldn't have this long. Uh, it, uh, it was a special moment for me, something which I had experienced. I knew that I would get emotional and that's uh, uh, just for safety I was carrying a bottle of water as well uh, which kept me going. But uh, those kind of things, uh, you know, you cannot script. It's, it's uh, the Almighty's wish and, and uh, everything went much, much better than what I expected. The love and affection I received over a period of time when, when I announced my retirement, I mean, those three, four weeks were unreal. I mean, I, I've uh, never experienced anything like that. Wherever I went, uh, the way people uh, greeted me, it was a special moment. So, you know, something which goes beyond uh, beyond something which I'd be able to express. And again, coming back to this long speech, you know, I mean, it wasn't written or rehearsed, it just came from my heart. It did come from your heart, but uh, tell me Sachin, uh, it's been what, almost four months since you gave that speech, since you retired. Do you miss batting? Do you miss playing cricket or are you enjoying life? The fact that you can now get up at 8 a.m. in the morning without having to worry about, you can eat all the things that you want to eat without having to worry, will I put on weight? Are you enjoying life after retirement? Yeah, I'm enjoying life after retirement. Uh, I haven't played cricket at all. Uh, just a couple of times with my son Arjun and his school friends uh, in the house itself. Uh, but other than that, I have not played cricket. But uh, with this this big bat and the wagon wheel here, I am uh, tempted to you know have a go. This is a 20 ton bat. So, I mean, you can imagine uh, how much effort it has taken for, for the curator to, to put this together. And there is a, a, a proper study behind this. I mean, uh, the gap in between, I was just talking to him and he said, gap in between, the color is blue because I played for India and India is all about uh, having blue color, bleed blue. So, so this is what uh, his idea was, his thought was. And the wagon wheel, I mean, all these things are special. So, you know, uh, life is, life can't be better than all these things. The fact is that your bat was almost as broad as he. Does anyone here want to say something to Sachin? Who wants to say something? Come on. I think he has said what a lot of young Indians will say today. You know, there, there are lots of young Indians who will say that not just these boys who are in some academy or the other across India. What would you like to tell these young boys in conclusion? Because a lot of people will come over the years. There will be 20, 30, 50 years from now. We hope even 100 years from now. When they come by the Arabian Sea, they will come and see this bat of honor.